Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new CoverGirl concealer and the new CoverGirl powder. So if you would like to see what happens, then keep on watching. I think that was like the shortest intro ever. Like my three years being on YouTube. Shortest intro ever. I'm trying to get straight to it, man. I'm excited, I'm ready. I've had these two products. Oh my, there is an eyelash stuck to my concealer. Welcome to my life. Sometimes I think I have spiders on everything and every time it gets me, every single time. You would think I would be used to it by now, but I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. I'm already primed. I am high as shit off of coffee. Yes, I am, per usual, at 9.30 in the morning. I am already primed. I used the Cover FX Blurring Primer, and then I figured I would stick with CoverGirl today and use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. So let me go ahead and slap this on my face real quick. This shade matches my self-tan on my neck because this is, welcome to my life. This is, this is my life. Oh my gosh, I feel like this foundation is actually not dark enough. Like this self tan took really well. Like I've been using a combo of two lately and it's making me pretty dark. So this doesn't actually <laughs> match all the way. I could add another foundation to make it darker, but that's what bronzer is for, right? Right? All right, so now on to the concealer. This looks really light. I did not have my self tan on. I feel like this is like me bitching and complaining about my self tan, but you know, um, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, I screwed up. <laughs> I probably will need a darker concealer, so I will be very highlighted today. All right, so here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, that's light right there. That is light. I am in a mood. I am in a really goof ass mood for real. Like lack of sleep, I'm still so tired from this weekend. You know, I know absolutely nothing about this concealer, so maybe you would like to know since I'm using it. Like, maybe you would like to know its claims and whatever. See how not with it I am today? So its benefits say it's full coverage, matte finish, conceals all imperfections, easy to blend, no caking, no cracking, lasts all day, and is vegan. The undercover concealer, it's conceal, shape, and brighten with our new full coverage concealer. Say bye to bags, dark circles, and other skin imperfections with this lightweight concealer. The large fluffy dough applicator ensures an easy, even application with a velvety smooth formula. Leaves behind a matte finish that lasts all day with 30 shades. That's pretty good. That match 99% of skin tones. It's easy to find your perfect hue. I've heard a lot of people say that this is a dupe for shape tape, but then again, I swear every new concealer that comes out on the market, everybody says, is this a dupe for the shape tape or it is a dupe for the shape tape? So I don't know. I just started using my shape tape again after a long time since the last makeup video I filmed. So let's see here, let's see. It dries pretty quickly, not as quickly as the e.l.f. camo. I feel like that concealer dries so fast. But it blends nice. Is it the most full coverage? No. I am going to see if it's buildable. I love a lot of concealer on my face. Like a stupid amount. I like concealer more than I do foundation. I'm like... One of my favorite things is concealer. So I think I'm just gonna put it right up under my eyes. I'm not gonna worry about anywhere else and let that sit a second. And then I got the powder in the shade Translucent. They had different shades of uh, the powder, which is pretty cool. I like that you have those options. Uh, so this one is Translucent. I don't really use these. Some people love them, some people don't. Uh, so let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, that was easy to open. That was really easy to open. All right, let me go ahead and blend this out and then set it with the powder. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and wipe any excess off my face. It did darken up the concealer, which I'm not mad about because it was super light. So that definitely worked out. I do need to go in with my MAC powder foundation to bring back some color. So I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and do the rest of my face, come back on camera and let you kind of see it. Um, first impressions, it is very pretty. Um, it does look a little creasy cakey up under my eyes, but sometimes I can get rid of that with setting spray. So I definitely want to see if that will do the trick. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my face and come back and let you see what it looks like. So I'll be back. Okay guys. So I am back and this is the look I'm going with today. Very natural, natural cake face, right? Right. I am actually really liking how this looks. After I sprayed my face, the cakiness of it, it really wasn't even that cakey. It just was kind of settling into my fine lines and wrinkles and things. Um, but after I use setting spray, it's, it's golden. It looks really good. Some people say that uh, these powders have a little bit of shimmer in them. I'm not really seeing it. I don't know if it was a certain kind or one of the... Uh, Oh no, just kidding. Oh my gosh. It has like little glitters in them. Like little specks of glitter. <gasps> Shut the front door. It does. Now I can't tell if that's my highlighter or the concealer. Because I have highlighter everywhere I have the concealer. But you know what? Like I can tell the speck. You know what? You need to be zoomed in for this. Hold on one second. But as you can see, it looks really good. I really like the way that it looks. It looks smooth. It almost looks very airbrushed. Uh, it really is not, does not have that look of the settling into my fine lines and wrinkles like it did initially when I put it on. But it looks really good. I'm really digging this um, makeup look. I mean, it's simple and I do look glam as but um, it just looks pretty. Like my skin looks really, really pretty. So I really have no complaints as of right now. So I'm, I'm very happy with the way that this looks. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and live my life, <laughs> come back, check in every couple of hours or so. Right now it's a little bit before 10.30. I've had this on since around 9.45ish, somewhere around there. But kind of check in, see how it wears. I have a good feeling about it, so I might not have to wear it as long as, say, like a foundation review. I really didn't want to turn this into a full-blown uh, review. However, I do want to see how it uh, lasts throughout the day and kind of what happens. So I will be back soon. Hey, guys. So I'm back. I've had my makeup on basically the whole day, and I just wanted to do a final check-in. I didn't do one earlier in the day because nothing's really changed, and even still till now, all day, my makeup really hasn't changed. So I wanted to do a zoom in so you guys can see how it looks. The foundation's always good. I always feel like my makeup doesn't move when I wear uh, this foundation. So I'm sure the foundation helped when it came to these products as well. And they say that if you wear the same brand, they're all kind of formulated together to work better together. I don't know. I kind of want to do a test with a different foundation uh, down the road to see how this also wears just to see if that really even matters. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> but I don't think I explained what this powder uh, claims to do. So I wanted to go over that pretty quickly. On Walmart's website, it says that it blurs the appearance of pores and fine lines, won't cake or crease and locks in your makeup for a perfect no filter finish that lasts all day. They expanded their um, shade range and it also says that it's a full coverage matte finish, conceals all imperfections, easy to blend, no caking or cracking, and of course it's cruelty free. They also have four different shades. They have banana, deep, uh, what else they have? Tan and translucent, which is the one I have. So my overall thoughts on these two products are that they're not bad. They are actually good products. I love the way that my makeup looks today. I do feel like it looks fresh. 
kind of glowy but again I don't know if that's like my highlighter doing all the work or not um, I feel like it's set beautifully it almost like filled in my pores just gave a really pretty look underneath of my eyes and just my t-zone where I set everything I don't feel like I'm getting oily I did use a matte foundation so I'm not too surprised by that but it I do feel like it really set my face beautifully the concealer um, I've used thicker consistencies before in concealers but this isn't bad and it was buildable um, I like the doe foot applicator I probably will have to go a little bit darker but I do feel like the powder um, helped with uh, making it darker because I did get translucent which is pretty um, dark for me so I don't feel like it's like a true translucent because it does have some color to it but I am really liking my makeup today I would definitely be using these products again. I find that drugstore affordable makeup is my go-to makeup. I love drugstore makeup and I always have and I always will. Okay, well I haven't always have, but within the past couple years, they've really changed the game when it comes to uh, drugstore makeup. So these days, now in these days, drugstore makeup is my jam. And some of my favorite products are from the drugstore. I love affordable products that work as good or sometimes even better than high-end you can't go wrong with great drugstore products i'm tired i want to get this makeup off my face so i'm going to wrap this video up if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next one thanks for watching